Hello everybody, welcome to Physics Learning Point. In this video, we are going to learn about ionization energy and the factors affecting the ionization energy and also the variation of ionization energy in groups and periods of the modern periodic table. Now, what is ionization energy? The energy required to remove one electron from outermost orbit of a neutral atom in its gaseous state is called ionization energy. For example, let us take an atom in gaseous state. So, this is an atom in gaseous state and ionization energy i.e. the energy required to remove one electron from its gaseous state. If we remove one electron, then it converts into cation then one electron comes out so the energy required to remove one electron from its outermost orbit of the atom is ionization energy here the ionization energy is used to remove one electron and this energy is said to be this ionization energy is said to be first ionization energy and if you want to remove one more electron from unipositive ion unipositive ion then this ionization energy is said to be second ionization energy so first we have removed one electron again from this ion we have uh, removed one more electron then this energy ionization is said to be second ionization energy and then what are the factors affecting the ionization energy let us learn the factors affecting ionization energy some of the factors affecting ionization energy the ionization energy mainly depends on nuclear charge screening or shielding effects and penetration power and stable configuration and atomic radius let us discuss how these factors are affecting ionization energy and first come to nuclear charge if nuclear charge increases the ionization energy also increases let us learn how this nuclear charge affects the ionization energy with an example let us take sodium and chlorine so the atomic number of so sodium is 11 and atomic number of chlorine is 17 as we move to sodium to chlorine then the number of electrons in outermost orbit are increasing at the same time the nucleus charge also the protons number of protons in the nucleus also increasing increase of nucleus charge on outermost orbit in chlorine increases because of this we require more energy to remove one electron from the chlorine is that's why ionization energy increases so here when you compare with sodium the chlorine requires more ionization energy it is difficult to remove electron from the chlorine so in case of sodium the ionization energy decreases and in case of chlorine the ionization energy increases only because of increase of nucleus charge then come to second one screening or shielding effect so here let us take one example calcium and atomic number of calcium is 20. So here this is the nucleus of calcium and first orbit here in first orbit two electrons are there and in second orbit eight electrons are there in third orbit eight electrons are there in fourth orbit there are two electrons are there so the outermost orbit is k l m n n shell n shell is the outermost orbit then what happens if number of orbits are present in any atom of an element then what happens the inner orbits acts like a screens for the outer orbit so due to this reason the nucleus charge on the outermost orbit decreases 
so here the k l m are the inner orbits and n is the outermost orbit so then what happens these k l m orbits acts like a screens screens to the nucleus and outermost orbit n so due to this screens the nucleus charge on outermost orbit decreases so due to decrease of nucleus charge on outermost orbit it is easy to remove one electron from the outermost orbit so ionization energy decreases so this is what about that screening or shielding and the next factor is the penetrating power what is penetrating power we know that every main shell has subshells main subshells are generally subshells are called orbitals s p d f g so on these are the subshells we know that in first or first main shell only one subshell that is s and in second subshell l that is s and p subshells are there and in third main shell m then here s p d and fourth subshell we know that n s p d f so as the number of orbits increases the number of subshells also increases so here the s orbital more penetrates towards the nucleus in a main shell s orbital penetrates more towards the nucleus so always the s orbital more close towards the nucleus in any orbit adjusting a orbital towards the nucleus is said to be penetrating power so s orbital having high penetrating power so it adjust more close than the other p d f and then after s the p more close to the nucleus and then d then f so s orbital has high penetrating power then p then d and so on so then what happens it is very difficult to remove electron from the s orbital then p d f because the penetrating power of the s orbital is more that's why it is more close than to the nucleus so more nucleus charge is there on electron of the s orbital so due to this it is difficult to remove one electron so it requires more ionization energy than the p d f then come to p orbital it is easy to remove electron from p orbital when we compare with s orbital but it is difficult to it is difficult to remove electron when we compare with d orbital because p orbital has less penetrating power than s orbital but having high penetrating power than d orbitals so the removing electron from the p orbital is difficult when we compare with electrons removing of electrons from d and f so in this way the penetrating power also decides the ionization energy okay it is a uh, s orbital having high penetrating power so due to this high ionization energy requires to remove the electron from the s orbital similarly p orbital d as we end, go to f orbital and other then ionization energy decreases because their penetrating power when we compare with s orbital and p orbital their penetrating power is very less then next come to the stable configuration then what is stable configuration as we know that that zero group elements all the zero group or 18th group elements having stable configuration they have octet configuration so if the all the orbitals are fully filled then that configuration is said to be stable configuration for example let us discuss neon neon its atomic number and its electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p6 so neon has octet configuration fully filled fully filled orbitals s orbital and p orbital so this configuration is said to be stable configuration or let us discuss the nitrogen 
nitrogen its atomic number is 7 so here nitrogen electronic configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p3 so here in 1s orbital two electrons are there in nitrogen in 2s orbital two electrons and in 2p orbital two oh, each one 2px 2py 2pz so each one filled with one electron so 2px 2py 2pz each one filled with one electron so the orbital which have the completely filled six electron completely filled s orbital 2 and p orbital six electrons then it is said to be completely filled so here in case of nitrogen here s orbitals 2s orbital completely filled and 2p orbital is not completely filled but half filled each p orbital filled with one electron so if any atom has fully filled or half filled orbitals in their outermost orbit it gives stability to the atom removing electron from this uh, atoms it is very difficult so the stable configuration also important factor which affects the ionization energy for example let us take oxygen then atomic number of oxygen is 8 its electronic configuration 1s2 2s2 2p4 so in 1s orbital it has two electrons in 2s orbital it has two electrons and in 2px 2py 2pz total four electrons are there the 2py 2pz requires two more electrons so here each in the nitrogen each p orbital has only one electron but off filled p orbital here that nitrogen has not off filled or not fully filled so what happens in in case of these two atoms the removing electron is easy in the oxygen because it is not fully filled and it is not uh, off filled so the off filled or fully filled orbitals gives more stability to the atoms so here the to remove electron from the oxygen it requires less ionization energy but here it requires more ionization energy to remove the electron from the p orbital because it is off filled now come to atomic radius how the atomic radius affects the ionization energy let us take one example magnesium and calcium in magnesium only three orbits are there k l m okay in case of calcium it has four orbits k l m n so the atomic radius of calcium is greater than magnesium whenever the atomic radius increases the attraction between the electron in outermost orbit and nucleus decreases due to this ionization energy decreases so here the magnesium has only three orbits this is in magnesium and whereas calcium has four out orbits okay this is calcium whenever atomic radius increases the attraction between nucleus and electron in outermost orbit decreases due to this it is very easy to remove the electron whereas the attraction between nucleus and outermost electron is greater than in the calcium because the outermost orbit in the calcium is 4 outermost orbit in the magnesium is 3 okay as the atomic radius increases the attraction on electron outermost orbits electron decreases due to this ionization energy decreases so the ionization energy decreases with increase in atomic radius so this is about the factors which affects the ionization energy the first one nuclear charge screening effect penetrating power and stable configuration and atomic radius then how the ionization energy varies in groups and periods of the modern periodic table 
first come to groups we know that in groups the atomic radius of the atom from top to bottom increases so due to increase of atomic radius in groups from top to bottom ionization energy decreases just now we have studied the ionization energy increases with decrease of atomic radius and the ionization energy decreases with increase of atomic radius so due to this the ionization energy in the groups from top to bottom decreases so then how the atomic radius varies in periods in periods from left to right as we know that the atomic radius decreases so as the atomic radius decreases the ionization energy increases the ionization energy from left to right increases because decrease in the atomic radius as the atomic radius decreases ionization energy increases let us consider the second period in the modern periodic table so from lithium to nitrogen the ionization energy increases so the nitrogen has high ionization energy then the ionization energy slightly decreases at oxygen and again the ionization energy increases by the neon why the ionization energy decreased for oxygen just before we have discussed that stable configuration full filled electrons the orbitals with fully filled or off filled orbitals gives more stability to the atom so here the nitrogen has off filled p orbital okay in uh, oxygen electrons four electrons are there in p orbital in outermost orbit so nitrogen has off filled p orbital so it's a stable configuration that's why that ionization more ionization energy required to remove electron from the nitrogen then oxygen so that's why ionization energy at nitrogen is greater than the oxygen again the ionization energy increased towards neon neon has fully filled orbitals okay so in this way the in the period from left to right ionization energy increases due to decrease of the atomic radius so this is about today's class thank you